Just a bit of an update on the Rujan Otis because I've changed things around quite considerably. Um, there we are. So you might just catch a springtail in the back there, yeah. A couple of springtails. And that's one of the changes. This is a clay rock pile. That's actually an entrance that they go in sometimes. Um, it's not Antscapes by any means, but it's my first bit of anything natural in with the ants, I suppose you could say. So that big chunk of moss has gone in a few hours ago, and then with loads of springtails on it. Um, and they love it, This, but this size out world really gives me scope for making a really wet area over here that they absolutely love. They, they, and uh, But it's big enough that it dries out and it's got a variation, if you see what I mean. The, the smaller out world, just, I couldn't do that. And they seem to be uh, very happy ants at the moment, these guys. However, it's not the full story. There's, there's been a few. There was like a dire. Here's the setup at the moment. That's where their actual nest is at the moment, in that tube. Uh, that tube was going like this one here, around the front. It was going around the back, connecting to the large bamboo tube. They'd moved out of it, which is kind of good in some ways, because I wanted it off to clean and all that. It cleans out really easily, actually, with the test tube push. I was quite surprised how well it's cleaned out. But um, And I've connected a much smaller one over there, 15 mil. And there's no heat underneath this anymore. It's all that's all changed. They've uh, been fed. They're on a three day feed cycle. That's all gone in today at lunchtime. That's coming out again soon. Um, and that's that other dish there is where I put a single drop of um, Wakushi super juice each time rather than giving them a big feed of all that business or leaving food in or anything like that. I'm trying to be careful if I can. Um, yeah. So I think I've got a lesser colony now than I had when I started, so you could argue that's a big case for not for hibernating, you could say. It was supposed to be about 80, I think, 80 to 100. Um, they had a massive brood, but they've all hatched. You know, that's all happened. As far as I can tell, there's no more new eggs. I can't really see in that too very well, but I don't think there is. So I've taken off the heat, other than one bit of the back chamber of the bamboo tube is touching a bit of heat, but I may even take that off as well. I think they've deserved whatever hibernation they can get now. <laughs> they've kept me entertained, you know. And they're not hibernating anyway, they seem quite happy. With this setup, I can. I'm using rainwater as well. Rainwater for that moss. Um, and they, they like that as well. Obviously, it's, it's purified water in the drinking things. Um, and that feeder over there, you can't really get a very good picture of it here at the moment. There's cotton wool in the bottom, and it big, big bit sticks out, and they just love that. That was like their spa. 